Hi, and welcome to another Rock Gaming Review. Today I'm taking a first look at Biomutant, the big open world RPG from THQ Nordic. Many years in the making on release, it got a mixed bag of reviews from the critics, but now it's on public release, so what do the rest of us think? I've spent an hour getting to know the game, and I hope you'll find my thoughts enlightening. Before we jump in, I just want to thank the lovely people at GeForce Now for providing me with a copy of the game via Steam. If you enjoy the video, please do drop a like, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe. I'm really interested in your thoughts, so leave a comment in the description if you've had a chance to play Biomutant or are thinking of picking it up. Right, let's fire up the old PC and take a first look at Biomutant. So here we go. Very first thing we need to do is open the game in GeForce Now. Really simple. Here's the interface. Here, are my, here is my library. Here are the games that I own. And there is Biomutant, which I've already connected to my Steam account where I bought the little puppy. Uh, a little bit of information here, some screenshots and stuff. All very good. Let's play. So I find Typically, GeForce Now launches a little bit faster than even uh, even on my PC, which is to be applauded. Can't complain about that, can you? Connecting to Steam, verifying my account, very happy. Yep, this individual, as dodgy looking as he is, has actually bought the game. And we're off THQ Nordic, of course, the publisher of the game, 101, the developer. Here they go. THQ Nordic actually has a massive amount of studios um, owned or aligned with them. I like the fact that I can skip through this stuff. This is really cool. Auto save feature, yeah. That's all good, all standard. All right, so I'll uh, just shift around until the image is barely visible. I'd say that was barely visible. Intro sequence. So I actually know very little about this game. There is, of, has been obviously uh, some controversy. I think at the moment it's it's kind of around 60% on the Metacritic. But those are the uh, professional review results and of course uh, they can differ quite massively from the end user bio mutant offy toggles little bit there we go that's better beautiful graphics that's definitely one of the highlights of this game everything that I've seen graphically is stunning now of course with GeForce now we are capped at 1080p 60 frames per second and you know a little bit of banding there but in truth what you do get is the full force of an nvidia card so if there is ray tracing or any of the uh, nvidia technologies then that's all thrown in and that can make a big difference this is black <laughs> i can skip nothingness apparently interesting Do, 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 do. I'm going to skip nothingness. And again, there we go. Right, Anglaise. How can something as beautiful as this be dying? Mm -hmm. I think I'll turn you up if you don't mind, my friend. But the tree of life still stands. The question is, for how long? End is coming. The tribes stand divided, in need of someone strong enough to unite them, or bring them all down. This 
is a story with an unusual beginning. So, let's expect an unusual end. <laughs> no, sorry, little cough there. Yeah, Biomutant, new game settings. I actually think that looks a tad bright for my taste. Uh, let's see if we can uh, skip along to video. Again, bear in mind, we're working, we're playing, we're doing whatever we're doing on a remote server. Um, so uh, we are restricted to the settings at the other end. However, one thing that I do find when playing GeForce Now, I'm taking you right down, my friend, uh, maybe a little bit too much, is that... Um, they do a pretty damn good job if you wanted to choose all the ultra settings. Uh, not always, but, but a lot of the time it's the case. And they do go to great pains to say, look, you know what, we optimise everything at our end, so don't, don't, you don't need to mess about. But I'm a messer. Sorry, guys. Frame rate limit. We'll leave all this stuff. This is all fine anyway. Um, we've got a limit of 75. That won't work on my monitor, even if it wants to. So we've got max graphics set up. Um, which, as you can see, is Max. Uh, and that's all been set up by our friends at NVIDIA, so we don't need to mess about in here. I still think that looks a tad bright. Sorry, I am, um, I know. I know. Um, where are we? Where was it in the first place? Here we go, change brightness. Just a little bit, maybe go down to 44. Okay, yeah, I like, a, I like a bit of blackness. Right, let's go. New game. Uh, we'll go with easy, just because uh, we don't want to be doing any roguelike -like stuff, do we? Hello, little fella. A little uh, cutscene to our hero. Encode your DNA. Oh, yeah, that is... Gorgeous. So, I am told that you can not only choose your character here, but uh, you can, and all of its settings, but you can um, you can change it up later in the game, so nothing is fixed. Let's just take a quick look at this. Genetics, choose your breed. So we've got Primal, uh, Dumb Don, and obviously on the right-hand side we're getting some changes in typical RPG, RPG style -y. Rex, yeah, he's relatively cute, isn't he? Are we going for cuteness here, guys, or are we going for stat details? Hyla. Fip and Murgle. I, I'm not sure whether these are gender-specific or not. Uh, they could kind of work in any of the flavours. Uh, Primal, I think... Don't like the teeth hanging out on that. Oh, he's got even worse teeth hanging out. Crime. Uh, he's got some teeth, some teeth, lots of teeth. A Murgle, who is pretty cute, actually. Primal. I don't know. Let's go with Primal. Okay, let's I tell you what. <laughs> Stop with the whole cuteness thing, Rock. Let's have a look at the stats. Well, vitality, strength, intellect, agility, charisma, and luck. Again, they're kind of fairly standard RPG facets, uh, vitality, strength, intellect. Until we play the game, we've no idea uh, how important any of these are going to be. Agility, move speed. My guess is it's uh, vitality, strength, and agility. So let's see, uh, 28, 28, 28. And a little bit of an increase in strength for Dum Dum there. Rex <coughs> had some vitality and intellect. Strength dropped down, mind you. That's his melee damage. Hyla, uh, he's kind of got a little bit more armor going on there. Tiny, tiny percentage. A little bit less intellect. Uh, Fip. Fip's got the intellect going down, but look, he's got the vitality and the strength disappeared. And uh, Murgle. Murgle loses on intellect, as dumb as they come. So, in terms of generally just increasing, uh, Dum Dum, I think, has... Dum Dum has it. It's got some melee down. He's got his health down, though. You see, this is the problem, isn't it? Um, I quite like the look of Rex, to be fair. His health, his armour, his intellect. Agility is the same. The other, the other stats don't change anyway. Strength, we'll be able to build that up. 
and we don't um we'll see maybe we'll get him using a gun i'm going to use i am going to choose and i am going to use rex which of course is latin for king anyway so let's confirm define your character's starting attributes to see more detailed explanations of what effect each attribute has press that button define your genetic structure okay so uh if i remember rightly his strength was pretty poor so in other words we can oh look at him going for it look. he's beefing right up wow but it's obviously uh, impacts everything else <clears throat> and we don't know yet what what it's going to need do we let's go um i'm going to counter strength ever so slightly i don't want much so that's my left stick and uh, Yep, there you go. There's a little bit at the expense of vitality, which I think is fine. I'm going to leave the other things at this moment because choose a genetic resilience. A genetic resilience to radioactivity, to heat, to biohazards, or to cold. Again, until we get into the game, we won't know which of these is the most important. At the moment, they've all got equal importance. My guess is biohazard. So let's um. What happens if we randomise? Oh, wow, he gets stuck right down there. That really is random. I'm going to say um, a little bit between cold and biohazard. Cripes, I hope I didn't mess that up. Confirm. Scratch your head, mate. Custom. Oh, look, we get to customise his fur. Well, that's nice, because that will have no impact whatsoever. I'm guessing. I might be wrong. So, uh we can, oh, that's nice. As we move it around, we can choose a different skin, essentially, or a different fur. Um, he's quite cute, isn't he? Uh, I do, oh, a raccoon looking thing going on there. That's pretty cute. That was, so if you move it to the extreme edges, it covers more. If you put it into the center, it's less. I get it. I actually quite like less, to be fair. I like him in his little whiteness. Uh, uh, it's all good. It's all good. We'll. I don't know. I like, quite like raccoon as well. Oh, that's pretty sweet. Uh, what was that one? No, it's like the beginning one, isn't it? Do you know what? <laughs> I'm kind of liking where he started. Oh, that's pretty cute. It gives him like, like bigger eyes, which always makes an animal look cuter. I'm going with this one. I am going with that one. Pick your main car. Oh. I quite liked his colour. Oh, is the main colour... Wow. Okay. Red. Blue's pretty cute. Um, again, I quite like the neutral. And then we can use the old, the old uh, triggers. Just a uh, kind of FAQ, uh, QAD, QEY, FIU, FYI, that was the fella. <laughs> I'm actually using a PS5 controller attached to the PC here, playing GeForce Now. One of the great things about uh, GeForce Now is that you can literally attach just about every controller known to woman, and uh, it's quite happy for you to play with them, maps it out nicely, which is great with the next gen controllers because obviously they've not been around that long. So it's all good news. Uh, right. Um, so that's expanding and that's light. That's actually the area that we get to color anyway. But I, I like him looking minimal. I'm liking the minimal look. I'm going with that. Choose your detail color. Crikey. On it goes. Well, I don't know what color is detail. Uh, oh, that's his actual external fur that we quite I quite liked in white. I'm going to go with white heading down towards. Oh, look at that! You can you do actually get quite a quite an extensive amount of configuration here, don't you? I'm going down white heading towards blue, which of course is is the kind of colder look, and that will do for us. I'm not, a class. A class. Okay. So the classes are on the left. The Dead Eye is a tricky, skillful rogue who's chosen a life outside law and society values. Commando, Perfect reload. This is what he actually gets with his classes. Your ranged weapons are reloaded instantly and your next magazine is granted 20% damage. Uh, I am a distance fighter. I'm not a massive lover of melee. 
uh, I like to to kind of stealth my way around the map, find the best spots and shoot them. So that one works for me. Let's have a look at the next one. Oh, look at this guy. Rambo. Ranged weapon attacks inflict 10% more damage. Okay. So that's a range that still has that advantage. And these are making no difference at all to stats. I just want to check. Cyfreak. Hello. Spark ball. To shoot a spark ball, press down the input you have bound his ability to. It will make you throw the ball in the direction you're facing, inflicting damage to the enemy that you hit. Your key or Kai energy region or regen, sorry, as in regeneration, is increased by 20%. That's an interesting looking one, isn't it? I like it. I'm liking this guy. So he shoots a spark ball. Um, we've no idea what kind of damage that does, of course, but it does mean that theoretically, if I do find myself in a kind of close proximity battle, I've got something other than my sword, which is interesting. He also reminds me of the warlock, which is kind of my main over in uh, Destiny. Saboteur. Saboteur. Twin silver grip. Melee dual wield skill. Equip two different one-handed melee weapons to dual wield them. Your dodge energy cost is reduced by 20%. That one's for real upfront and uh, personal players. Sentinel. Sentinel. Hey, this guy looks like a kind of rebel from the Russian front. Toughness. Your base armor is increased by 10. That's a, that's a fairly minimal sort of uh, class. It probably turns out to be the best one of the lot. Well, for me, it's between Psy Freak and Dead Eye. <clears throat> Range weapons are reloaded instantly, and the next Mac is granted 20% damage, but you will come up against... You will come up against close proximity, whether you like it or not. And this dude has no options as far as ranged fighting. But he gets to shoot his spark ball. I'm guessing it's going to be minimal damage, to be fair. Otherwise, you're going to be a little bit OTT. And it probably stuns an enemy, just knocks them back a bit, allows you to run or something along those lines. But then it says your key or Kai energy regen is increased by 20%. Now, we don't know what that is just yet. But whatever it is, it's coming, Mega Mind. And it's going to get increased regeneration by 20%, which sounds pretty good. Let's start with this guy, shall we? Cyfreak chosen. Yep, that's my boy. There he is. Uh, sorry, little cough there. Good choice. Thank you. And uh, player movement, so move forward. Well, yes, standard stuff. So uh, if I walk forward, a oh, little buddy hop. It's cute. We're already at the crossroads. Choosing a path in life is that fork in the road where you make a choice. Make a choice. Okay. To the left is bamboo shoots. To the right is a cave and a log. I'm going. But for you, it's not only a crossroad, but a choice. Hmm. A reflection of your key. Key. The primal energy that flows there through we go. So here we go. We actually do get a choice. So remember we chose Megamind, which gave us a 20% increase in key. A reflection of your key. The primal energy that flows through everything. It is the force. Uh, to the left, I'm dark red, as in strength and power. To the right... Colour me light blue for freedom and loyalty. Hmm, I have no idea, but I'm intrigued as to what freedom and loyalty is, so let's do it. Let me introduce myself. I'm the light and bright side of you. Oh, you're or annoying. Your inner voice, to be precise. An echo of balance and consequence of your actions as you move forward. Okay. <laughs> um, uh, yes, you are bright. So let's check out the other That's side. Right. Oh, there he is. Light is only for those having difficulty seeing what's in front of them. Mm. Sticking to the me first path is the only way we'll know places. Uh, marginally less annoying. Uh, I'm, I'm going uh, with. I'm surprised at the change of heart. I believe in putting yourself aside to help others, but helping the dark side is not that, you know. 
Yeah, I know, but you're marginally less annoying. I'm just saying. Just saying, that's all. You can't fight who you really are. The blood yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 we'll just let's get back to choosing. Oh, no. I didn't want... I don't want him to do... Uh, somewhat light. Um... I don't know. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> I should have stuck with the voice. Let's go this way anyway. Right is always right. Okay, so um, just my initial impressions on movement. Responsive, if anything, a little too responsive, maybe. Stories of death and the bodies left behind. I know, a, a dead thing. A reminder that we're at the mercy of nature and the one that preys on others. Oh, bless him. Now, I've heard... I don't know this for sure. Meat Eaters Meat. That's a quest. I think I'm just going to go and pick that up. I've heard that um, the game is kind of set in uh, in a future, post-apocalyptic, as they say. So uh, just a quick, a quick reminder that um, that is how it works. Uh, just I also need to just point out, I didn't pay for the game. It was donated to me by the very nice people over at GeForce Now. Uh, so although no money has exchanged hands, ergo I have not been paid for the stream, I have been given the game. Now I will give you my honest opinion, but uh, I just wanted to point that out, and partly because I am contractually obligated to tell you this. There it goes. It's a little animation that tells you that Biomutant is actually already available because this is now beyond May the 25th, and there it goes again. There may be one or two more of those as the game progresses, but don't worry, folks, I won't annoy you with them. So, examine the Gnote, which once was a goat. The beast that shattered your family, or did you choose to forget? You turned your back on I'm sure you'll agree graphically this is gorgeous. Lost in your own and quite honestly... You can't notice much of a difference at uh, 1080p if you're sat uh, back from your television screen because they punch everything out crystal sharp on GeForce now. What's up, dude? Oh, there's a big fella. So we get to dodge. Oh, I missed. He came at me a lot quicker than I was expecting. Uh, I've learned how to dodge. I guess now oh, I get to shoot. Um... I would say that is auto-aiming for me, because I didn't get much of a choice. Oh, I've run out of bullets, I think. What's this then? B. Aha! Oh, I like that. So B and RT. Uh, A and RT. Oh, these are kind of moves that allow you to fire at the same time. That is cute. A panther sweep. Oh. Hey, take some of that, my friend. Ooh, left button. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Slightly complicated. I'm sure we'll pick it up in time. <clears throat> What's this parry thing about? Um, where's his health? Is that his health? Okay, ah, oh, right. Top left corner, we have our life... And I guess at the bottom... Oh, it's cool. Oh, there it is. Um, oop. The uh, the spark ball, because it's got a kind of sparky symbol. Now, I'm working out how to dodge. I've got all that off to a fine art. I've got a parry. Left button. That's parry. What? Uh, yeah, I am parrying. When, when can I move on to the next one, please? I'm parried. What do you want out of me? Thank you. I won't be doing that very often. Distant stuff is your man. B followed by X. B, X. Oh, B, X. Oh, I did it, whatever it was. A viper bite. Rabbit's Fury, A followed by X. Oh, hello. Let's not split the difference. Oh! Better make a run for it. Oh, yeah. This is not the time nor place. Where are we going? I don't want to go back to where we came. Oh, I can't exit there. Oh, oh look, that's good. We've got an icon through the hole. Kerboom. 
feeling this might be a little too quiet for you guys. Okay, that was the training session. And... This time, it was best to run and live to fight another day. Let us hope you're ready for it when it comes. Bunker 101. It's a shame we couldn't get to name our characters, actually. I like to uh, personalise my little fellas. Lots of cutscenes. Saves on the game time. So we've locked a door. That's where it's going to blow up. Kerfluff. There it went. Okay, what's in here? The predator isn't the only threat. The wildlife started to mutate when the end of days began. End of days? The tree of life started to die. Oh dear. Evolution gone wrong. I'm, I'm loving the graphic style here. Uh, melee targeting. Move towards an enemy to target them with melee attacks. Okay, let's do this. Oh. Aim the camera towards an enemy to target them with ranged attacks. Yes. To reload your weapon, press RB. Okay. Uh, to use an ability, press the button it's bound to while pressing and holding L. Trigger. So bottom, bottom left, as I like to call it. BL. To throw a sparkling ball of key energy that damages any enemy it hits, hold the mutant, select, and press the bound input. Oh, left and right. I'm not going to remember any of this stuff. Key energy is used for dodging, using mutations, and performing special attacks. When you're out of key energy, <laughs> you're out of luck. You'll be unable to perform these actions. Your key energy regenerates both in and out of combat, so it will eventually turn up. Uh, why? Oh, there's me spark ball, which actually does do a certain amount of damage, and it looks to be fairly ongoing as well. <clears throat> Your so, energy is empty. Oh, no, not anymore. And I don't have any buttons. Oh, use the trigger. Right, okay, yep, D-pad, selected gun, I think. Did I? Yes, well, I've got something going on there. No, no, uh, no gun. So, let's go back to melee. Uh, left trigger. I don't know what I'm doing. While I'm kind of battling here, if I'm not sure what... It's all practice. It's all practice, auntie. Um, oh, there were so many options, weren't there? Yeah. That does spark gloves. Ah, okay. Equip and let go. Right. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, do I take them all out? Just down the hall, open the door. Uh, I think, I don't know. I'm intrigued. Oh, they're just dead red eyes. Okay. So there you go. Huh. It's all a learning game, isn't it? So LT, uh, D-pad, and up to equip the gun, which I failed to do during the game. Or D-pad to the right and up to equip spark gloves, which I'm liking. It may be only because that's the one thing that I got to work. Just down the hall, open the door. Okay. Um, I wonder if there's a map or anything on this. Let's press a few buttons and see what comes up. Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, Bunker 101. And you can zoom in, which I love. That's cool. Look at those graphics. Nice, nice, nice. And we can place a waypoint, which is good. At this moment in time... Oh, wow. Wowza. Huge amount of area. Cloopy Dines, or Dunes even. Mushy Mosh Mire. Yerp Fields. Fanaki leaves. <laughs> it's all going on here. Uh, we can toggle legends. There we go. Gearware upgrade bench. Gearware broker. Yes. Um, oh, hello. What we got here then? This reminds me a little bit of Days Gone, where you had multiple choices on the menu system. So if we go up, we choose the map. If we go left, we can review our character. Below is our gear. And then to the right, our various system settings so what do we do we choose our character here we go and he's got a little buggy friend as well look aura <clears throat> we've chosen the light we've got two on the light spectrum that's our character what about gear down here in this section you can change equipment and weapons okay the circle icon represents 
Uh, the circle icons represent a part of the body that can be geared up with equipment found or bought from vendors. Your favourites can be saved in the outfits menu. Okay, so torso, he's got a t-shirt going down. You can sort your gear. Now at the moment I don't think we've got anything. I don't think we've picked anything up. Uh, and I'm not giving him that t-shirt, that's for sure. I don't care what it is. Um, although we should probably check out what these things do. On his face we have nothing. On his legs we have Experiment 101 Pan 330. Um, don't know that that gives you a great deal of advantage, but uh, Torso did, it gave you uh, what looks like, in, no, the key energy and the energy regen are the same, they haven't gone green on us, have they? So as I'm sure they look nice to some people, but to me, <clears throat> I don't think so. So we've saved, we're going, where are we going? We're going to open a door. This looks like a door. That was where I started from, I wanted to find out the other thing I'm keen to find out is is uh, how we find stuff, loot. Okay, let's interrupt with the door. Let's keep with the game. Nice, we've got a little yellow path. Now right, here we go, interact. Ka-ching, electric module. Hello. Uh, rarity, 40. That's rare, apparently. Uh, electric kink, electric discharging six quality descent or oh, it's decent come on rock four uh, weapon add-on you found a weapon special effect add-on yay attach it to your ranged weapon to give it an extra damage type for as long as the ammo lasts some enemies have a resistance or weakness to different weapon special effects so use them wisely so we have to add it to a ranged weapon I don't think we have a ranged weapon yet but we'll um we'll click a uh, we'll try equipping it to attach the special effect add-on select it through the consumable quick menu which we now possess apparently did it though i mean i can't be thinking yeah so anyway that is your equipment menu so technically that's where it would be however this is not a ranged weapon i would suggest hence why we're not seeing it of course if we went to the menu we'd probably be okay. We could put, put it on to... Oh, hello, something else here, health-wise. You found a medic supply. Bags like this contain items that can help you. Oh, okay. Well, I wouldn't mind having... Your health doesn't automatically regenerate in combat. Ouch, you have to use consumables or find other ways to heal, like Outriders, basically. Hello, bandage type thing. Health patch, uh, regen 50, duration 5 seconds. Uh, take it all. We'll have it all. You can use a bandage by holding the quick select menu input uh, up. And so, there we go. And I'm guessing um, left trigger as well. We'll fire it up. Now, one of the things I do in all RPGs, which I love, by the way, is I never go the obvious way, at least not initially, because typically the devs will have put something hidden away before you go out the room that you don't want to miss. Now, this is an open world game, so technically I could just ignore everything and explore, but we don't want to be doing that the just yet. Because we're not. Most, it only means death. I don't like the look of him. No. Don't forget, we're only just starting out. We've not fully equipped or uh, built built our character up for all. Uh, Remed Parry? No, no, no. I'm not I'm not fighting him. I'm leaving. I'm going through that door. <laughs> I'll come back to fight another day. Oh, it's worth having a little look, I suppose. So we've gone into this room uh, and there's nothing in here. I can jump on objects. That's something I hadn't checked before. That's cool. So it's fully mobile um, and fast. Oh, uh, toilet, of course. Of course he wants to have a drink. Health pack. That's a big one. We'll have that for... Yes. No. That'd be useful. So that's uh, increased our health. Bearing in mind, in a combat scenario, we don't regenerate our health. All right, up the chain. We know what's One up here. One hand after the other. Yes. Yes. We know what's living up here, sludge dude. Um, let's get our gun equipped this time. Have I got our gun equipped? Equipped. Um. No, I guess the 
question mark is. Damage, magazine size. Does the green arrow mean it's equipped? Or does the green arrow mean it's not equipped? Oh, well, anyway, maybe we're out of bullets. I don't know. I know one thing, I can't fire the flipping gun. I can't fire anything as it happens. Oh, now we have a gun. Are we talking bug here? Oh, he didn't take much, did he? What about the little fellas? Oh, they've got... yeah. Okay. We survived. We survived, and now we get to loot. I love looting. Fallen enemies can often be looted for healing items. Find a highlighted fallen enemy and press Y. Remember to use your healing uh, items when you're wounded to open the item selection hold up. I don't know that we got sustained any damage with full on healing there, are we? So we've, we've got that, which is, um, I don't know, a cog and some wood. What about this? These are materials for crafting, obviously. Oh, and we can interact on this guy. He has a confectilicious, <laughs> which is a sweet, I'm guessing. Uh, health regen, and it lasts for two seconds, so we'll, we'll have it anyway. I think we can... I don't know what the limits are to what we can uh, collect. We can interact with this guy. He has a dainty. No idea what a dainty is, but it's very pretty. And that's another health regen piece of food or something similar. So we've massively looted those guys. Obviously picking up materials. Now I'm not sure about that sludge. That is definitely telling me to stay the heck away. What's my field of view on the camera? Okay, up to there and down to there. Over to that. We can obviously spin around, so that's all good. Another door here. I'm just, you know, getting used to the game. I need to work out what we can do. We can interact. It's a single push to interact. <coughs> oh, excuse me, more coughing. There were some more enemies in there. Um, interestingly. I'm not sure how to get that gun to work. Here we go. Oh, it appears that the gun... Excuse me, I'm coughing like a good one here. Uh, the gun apparently only works when you're in combat, so that makes some sense. There's my health. My health's actually okay at the moment. I've got the gun equipped, or at least I thought I did. Um, no, I've unequipped it. There we go. That's equipped. Okay. Green arrow equip. No, I don't. Be oh, and now we have a bullet. See, what I'm trying to do is shoot these things that they're picking up. The combat appears to command what you do. <laughs> oh, rock a boom! It's a friend of mine. I'm going to have to go in for some meleeing. Sorry, guys. Let's go with the uh, gloves. If oh, don't do that. If only because I can't get that gun to work, and I'm not sure why. Um, it doesn't indicate. Whoops. What bullets I have? Health's uh, okay at the moment. I'd say we're not we're not in um, mortal danger. But then Rocker Boom's about to go down. There he goes. So we did well there. Uh, but we do need. Let's interact. We'll see. I know it said that your energy doesn't regenerate while you're in combat, but uh, I wonder if it picks up, yeah, there we go, so it, I think it picks up while you are not in combat I'm taking all these things, you can see it steadily, so the, mo the, the moral of the tale, guys is, if you don't have to, don't use your health in combat, until you're right down to tiny, tiny pixels, because it will eventually, get back to that was it when I kicked this? no um, because it will get back eventually. We didn't come through that door, did we? Or did we? No, it was that one down there, wasn't it? This is a whole new door. And before we go back through that door, check everything out. Oh, yes, I love these games. I'm really enjoying this, actually. Uh, I mean, I can, I can see that it needs... The combat is... Uh, a lot of people have complained about the combat. Um, 
I think they're wombats <laughs> yeah, because it rhymes and that's kind of how I chime. No, I think the key thing is, it's like everything, you have to get used to it. And look, this is an RPG. Uh, it's designed to be a big old game. It's not going to be a five minute wonder. So you need to spend some time learning the mechanics of the game, experimenting, wandering around, and most importantly, crafting and getting your characters uh, combat sorted. So Oh, shielder. Some enemies carry large shields. Nice. You need to break that shield with melee attacks before you can attack them or deal damage to the enemy. Got it. Okay. So we're going to have a lot of combat by the look of things. So definitely, um, let me uh, see if I can... I think I have to smash his shield, whether I like it or not. There we go. Now I can take him. Um, and it looks like repeated combat's the way forward. So there you can go. We actually went into that encounter with, so far we've only managed to pick up health items from these dudes, but we went into that combat with full health, so I, that would be my first observation. Don't give yourself any health, you will regen, unless it's rubbish. And um, melee as well seems to do pretty good damage. Got an upgrade point, a little bone on a chain. Defeating enemies and completing quests will give you XP. Leveling up allows you to raise one of your attributes by 10. Ooh. You'll also get one point that you can use to unlock skills in the Wung Fu and Perks menus. To go to the menu, press that thing. We went to level two. Oh yes, oh yes. Another Confectalicious, we'll have that one. Oh, I can so imagine some of my streaming chums struggling to read some of these words. A dandy candy. <laughs> it's like Candy Crush. Now, I'm intrigued because there's these, these amazing little objects, these artifacts of the old world here kicking around. And I just want to make sure, because one thing I haven't seen, there's a, a little circle that draws, a little circle, a little hollow circle, draws on things that you can interact with. Okay, that's all good. But you know, some games highlight things that, you know, in the corner might be a little flashing symbol or a, a halo around an object. <clears throat> and I'm not sure at the moment that we can do that with, uh, or that that exists as a mechanic, I should say. But there's doors everywhere, so... Let's go to this one. There's a oh, thing. An emergency box from the once was. Claw bar. Do we care? What's important about a claw bar, I ask myself. What does it do even? It's a weapon. That's an old world claw bar. Very common, apparently. You can pick these up along the way. And then I'm assuming... <clears throat> um, somewhere? No? No? No. No idea where that one is. Oh, we've got to go and level up, guys. I missed that. Let's go to our character. Uh, when you level up, you can increase an attribute of your choice by 10. And actually, then, that's fairly substantial, I think. Pick which attribute you want to increase in the list. Okay. Um, still don't really know. Well, health, vitality... So health goes down fairly fast. Uh, something else I like to do in these RPGs is I mean, kind of max out my health before most other things. I'm sure that's not a really good tactic, but it kind of I feel comfortable with it. We don't know yet what uh, intellect is. I think intellect is our special spark ball thing. We'll get there. Agility, we can increase. That's movement speed. I'm quite happy at the moment with that. Charisma, we haven't had to barter. So that's a pointless one. And luck, I'm guessing it's uh, the stuff in the chests and the loot. I'm going to go back up to health. I'm going to use my point on health because that's uh, um, armor goes up. And so does health. You can take even more now. Thank you. You'll earn upgrade points when levelling up. These can be used to acquire new special attacks and perks. Time to unlock your first special attack. Ooh. Select close combat or ranged combat to unlock... Uh, weapon. I don't... No, hang on. I want, <clears throat> I want to read them. What do they do? 
close combat, you can use any type of melee weapon, but you need to learn and unlock special attacks for a weapon type in order to be able to use it to activate the super Wong Fu state. Okay, or ranged combat, you can use any type of ranged weapon, but you need to learn and unlock. Now, the thing is this. I suppose they're calling any gun a ranged weapon, aren't they? Uh, but you need to learn and unlock special attacks for a weapon in order to be able to use it to activate the super Dufa. Super Wong Fu state. I'm kind of feeling at the moment that we need to boost this. You can use any type of blah, 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 blah. Right, input sequence. Tap to perform a spinning kick. What? More things to learn? Those are already ticked off, though. Does that mean... Does that mean I already have them? BX, AX, I do. Wow. Axure, poor. Ah, five sequence melee strikes. Loads of X's, that's worth remembering. <clears throat> well, we can only do unspeakable hand. Finish an unarmed melee chain with a launching grab and pile driver slam. X, X, Y. Oh, go on then. I'll unlock this one. Okie dokie. Uh, X, 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 Y. Thank you. That was all good. That's our character. Um, one Fu and Perks. Once you've more upgrade points, remember to spend them on perks and special attacks. Roger that, my friend. Uh, let's have a quick look at what else we've got going on here. We've got Aura, we've got our character, we've got Wang Fu, and we've got Perks. Um, we've got Mega Mind, and then there's others as well. All the way up. Should have fun. Let's get back to the game. We've leveled up. In the pump room, we picked up a claw thing that I have no idea where it went because it isn't clear. Um, maybe it's just, I don't know. Oh, sound like he sneezed. I was trying to see if I could kick this thing and, and what that. <clears throat> oh, hello. <laughs> do that again. Oh, let's do the one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. Yeah, it's combat. It's uh, it's going to come eventually. And you know what? You always end up with that one favourite one, don't you? Don't forget, we chose easy. So we get to roam around, enjoy the place. And at the same time... Is there a double kick? Double jump, sorry? No. One, two, not really. Kind of spins around at the end, doesn't go any higher. So, let's look at the map. Have we explored pretty much everything there is in that area? It looks like we have done. We have to make our way out this way. And we can set waypoints as well. But we won't do. We won't do. Let's go. Which direction? Um, well, that's sludge. As far as we're aware, right now, we have no protection against sludge and... I don't think we should be tempting ourselves. I don't want to die. How dare you. Uh, that believes only the way we came. Let's have another look at that map again. Uh, the sludge is kind of around there, I guess. And I don't think we need to go through the sludge. <clears throat> I think if we just go back through this door, we'll find a way. We'll find a way, don't worry. Can we uh, can we walk around the sludge? Can we dip our toes in it and then get the heck out? Oh yeah, he's not happy. Oh, <laughs> he is a weird colour. Uh, he is not happy. No, we don't want to be doing. It. We could. Looks like we can do it for seconds, but anything longer is going to cause us a problem. Can we jump up on there? No. And how far around is that? Well, I can't, to be fair, look, there's nowhere to go even if we run through that stuff, is there? Everything's blocked off in that part of the map, so we will trundle off elsewhere. Back down here, somewhere. Look at the map. Oh, well, it's actually telling us where we need to go, silly boy. So we've deviated. <laughs> but that was good. Our deviation managed to get us up, up, uh, upgraded, and we got some stuff as well. Um, is there a way? No, it's behind us. Somehow it's behind us. I thought that if I tapped the map it would um, get rid of the map, but it doesn't. What it does is it keeps the map and uh, 
you can do that, but it takes you back to that menu. I'd like to see the ability to double tap the map and come back to the game. That would be nice, developers, if you're watching. So, we've done all this, which is good. We also have an... Uh, this is a, telling us to go this way, but we've done that, so that's just a permanent feature that isn't helping in any way. Um, I'm just out of interest on settings. It's just... Uh, we'll have a look at photo mode as well. Um, camera field of views at 75, I'm okay with that. Camera shake is 100%, it hasn't caused us an issue so far. We've got depth of field, um, don't know what auto adjust player does. What does that do, I wonder? Automatically adjust camera to focus on the player. Okay, yeah, I'm not a massive fan of that, I like the free range. Sprint toggle, camera mouse controller, no, audio, video, mapping. That's for the keys and then accessibility. So it's going to be under game if anywhere. Auto advanced dialogues. Toggle where the dialogue should auto advance. Yeah, no, we'll leave that because there may be something that we need to read. Uh, quest markers. Ah, here we go. That's what I'm looking for. So you have to turn this on. Damage numbers. Yup. Enemy indicators. Yes. Comic book effect. No idea what that is, but I want it. Remove the waypoint when near. Uh, yes, yes, why not? <clears throat> Compass! <laughs> and rotate with view. Ah, oh, so many things that we didn't have on. Well, that's worth noting. And while we're there, let's have a look at photo mode. Here he is, our little friend. So we have... Um, he's dark. Uh, depth of field. There it is. Put depth of field on. Uh, hide the UI, there it goes, we bring it back, zoom, and up or down, let's take a photo, he's our little friend, he's very blue, there he goes, we take our photo, and it's position, tell us where it's put it, look at that, it's actually put it up on, up on GeForce Now's computer, so that's interesting, now we have, this is more like it, so it's now telling us that we have our objective, And as well as that, it's got a number there, um, distance by the look of things. That's his little paw to indicate that that's uh, where he's got to run to. We've now got a compass. Ah, oh, this, this is better. A little compass down there. Now it's all well and good saying go that way. We've been there and uh, that is not the route. So we'll go this way instead. See what's down here in the dark. Nothing there. Um, in here, maybe? Aha! Well, that looks doubly bolted and uh, not interested in us playing. No, I've tried to interact with the Y key, uh, Y button, uh, nothing, nothing happened. Or the triangle, if you're playing with a PS controller. So where do I go? Where do we go to? I can jump on this stuff, so that allows me to get some height that's all well and good They're a bit spooky those things hang in there in their webs aren't they um, well it's kind of back this way so okay we'll follow the now that's there's no way out there the truck Provides no solace. Examine the door in the pump room. Didn't we just see a door? And was that not the pump room? I don't know. I do. No, we've done that one. We'll, we'll follow. We'll, we'll keep going. We'll go this way. Maybe we missed a door or an exit or something. It definitely wasn't in here. That was the toilet bowl. We had a drink. Let's go back up the chain. Oh, oh dagnabbit. What? Put what there? <laughs> what are you talking about? Have I missed something that I should have found? Up we go again. Just before we go to the very, very height. Can we jump off? Well, we can, but not very far. Not not, a, not far enough to, uh, to, to jump onto a platform. 
just as an FIY, you don't press a button to go on the chain, you just move forward. Ah, there it is over there. So it is actually, now, let's go, it's a pretty darn good tip putting on those uh, indicators because I think we'd have been running around for some time if we didn't know roughly where we were headed. We were here all along. Aha. Uh -huh. This is looking more like it. Okie dokie. Nice music as well. Nice soundtrack. I'm liking it. I think it's time. Uh, let's see where we are here. I think it's time for another one of these. Let's have a look. Sorry if the animation's not very good. Uh, don't blame me. Just to remind us all, Biomutant, PC, PS4, Xbox. Let's do this one as well. This is a nice one. And... Uh, who knows where else in the future but I'm obviously playing it on GeForce now thanks to the very kind folks over at uh, NVIDIA there we go and we'll continue our journey 30 paw prints to where we need to get to clicks as they call that in the when there's no determinate measurement in the military right we got there that in the end. Pipe looks weak. The claw bar should come in handy. Aha, uh -huh, the claw bar. So where is our claw bar? Right, so X, 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 X. Clearly, uh, what appears to be the case is that you use an item when it is necessary to use an item, hence why the gun didn't appear initially until we got into combat. And it was jump down here. Whoa. As we were meant to. It's time to find a way out of this place. No, really, I mean it. Okay, I believe you. Bit passive aggressive there. Oh, no, don't go. Don't go in the sludge. Double jump. Thank you. We're still in training mode. Ooh. Ooh. This looks very biohazardy. Do you remember one of the, the things? Produce bio matter in their <coughs> one of the things that, that I selected was uh, in our class: the an ability to avoid. You are on your way to performing a special attack. Possible special attacks are prompted in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. Pressing the indicated input while it is shown will trigger your special attack. Unspeakable hand. When absorbed. Including you. Oh yes. Oh yeah. Fired up. Oh look, this is uh, multi-action. And oh, there's our comic book. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. So, um, <clears throat> definitely a bit of work in kind of working out all the various key combos and stuff, but that's all good. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're going to play the game, then spend some time. I mean, I have to say, so far, and just we've been playing for uh, no, a little, a little while around an hour. You absorbed a bio. I'll come back to that point. You absorbed a bio blob. These are points used to unlock mutations. You collect bio blobs by defeating morks and finding containers at various places in the world. You can use those to unlock special powers at any time by accessing. So it gives us the ability to go in, access some powers. That's pretty cool. So I was going to say, um, in spite of some of the reviews that I've read that were sort of whinging about bugs and unplayability and um, maps too big and all that stuff, I've not found any of that. I think the bugs that they felt they discovered were largely what we found, which is that you can't just get your gun out and fire it. You've got to be in a combat scenario. Um, it did feel initially that it wasn't happening but once you realise that's the case, you're all good. I just want to get a little close-up of this fella. Actually, while we're here, let's have a quick look at the uh, character menu. Um, go to the Mutations tab to unlock Psy Powers. Yep, that's where I was headed. So, <clears throat> there are two types of mutations, Biogenetics and Psy Powers. Both are special abilities, but unlocked using different currencies. Now, we have Psy Powers, don't we? We've got a Spark Ball. 
We can't afford anything more anyway. Ah, but we can afford moth mouth and vile bile, which will basically give us these biohazardy things. Um, press the input you bound to the ability to while facing an enemy. This will infect any small humanoid. So, uh, there are plenty of those around. While infected, enemies will attack their allies. Ah, oh, that could be fun. Or vile bile. Press down the input you bound, and it will make you spew toxic slush in the direction you're facing, inflicting damage to all enemies hit. Hmm. Well, this one costs less, so you don't assume it's going to do less. Um... Before we do that, upgrade resistance. Ah, so we can actually, okay. Well, let's not worry about that too much. We can't afford anything in here anyway, because you need rabbit hats. I'm going with the more expensive one on the basis that technically it must mean something that it's more expensive. And we're gonna bind it to one of the uh, one of the keys there. We get to choose X, A, or B. Let's go with A. There we are. So you're going to be limited to four of these, even when they're all unlocked. And um, quite honestly, it might have been a good idea to read what the others do, because depending how easily we pick up those bio points, it might might have been better to bank them. But we'll be good. We've got it. We're now bound to our bio mutation. Up the chain, apparently. Get out of Bunker 101. 101, of course, meaning it's our first encounter. Once this is done, I'm going to call it a day, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've got a really good indication of the game, at least from the training perspective. And I think we put a few little demons to bed Toxinol as well. Toxinol built vessels called Arks to save themselves from the impending doom. But was it too late? It is only from the flight logs of the single Ark they left behind that we know other Arks traveled through the sky and beyond. It seems those that came before us never lost hope in finding a new home for their kind. A little bit of story there for you. Uh, we're in the pump factory place, aren't we? Through the door. And, aha... Uh -huh projector a puzzle indeed you found a puzzle these are scattered around the world some open new paths while others feature different rewards to switch which node is selected use the left stick up or down or roundabouts whatever to rotate you want the left bumper or the right bumper this is the number of rotations that you have left the higher your intellect, the more moves you have. Right, now you see. Now we understand. Depends what you can unlock. Each node has a certain position it must be rotated into to complete the puzzle. Running out of moves before that may have consequences. So we've got ten moves by the look of things here. Um, we have to do what? I don't know. Rotate and join, uh, presumably. So... Okay, that's rotated, seven moves left. Um, I'm assuming the yellow thing has to rotate. Just a few moves left. Make yeah, them I'm not going to do this because I haven't a clue what it was that we had to do. Puzzles need a bit of thought. I don't we get another chance? Oh, we do. It's knowing what the end game is, really, isn't it? I mean, there's yellows and there's yellows. Let's move the... <laughs> Two yellows to a yellow. I'm gonna die now, I'll try again. Don't think it has any long-term damage. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. It's taken some health away, but that'll regenerate in a second. Um, so whatever it is can be done in ten moves. Uh, my initial assumption was that we have to turn... Everything has to be connected by a yellow, but maybe not. 
Maybe in fact it needs to be, whoops, wrong way. Dag nabbit. Maybe it needs to be white. White to white, yellow to yellow. Let's see if that's the, that would be obvious, wouldn't it really? Whoops, wrong way. Oh, that's used them all up. <laughs> Which means this one has to go one, two, three. There we go. Ah, easy when you know how. What do we get? We get a little film. There are few records of the chain of events that led to the big apocalypse eons ago. But it's clear the world wasn't prepared for how recklessly the Toxanol Corporation would make its mark on the world. Their rare earth mining and nuclear industries generated tons of waste and, without consideration for the future, they dumped it all in landfills until they ran out of space. Naughty. That's when they made the big mistake. They began dumping the toxic waste in the surf just off the coast instead, assuming that it would sink and decay with time. And they were right, but no one was prepared for what was about to unfold. Once in the surf, the radiation interfered with the genetics. This is the same the guy that does the voiceovers in Little Big Planet. Their offspring. It had an inconceivable That's impact kind of Stephen on biodiversity Fry and the entire ecosystem. The world as they knew it crumbled as nature retaliated. It would never be the same again, and what remained of it became ours. So that was our reward. A little bit of uh, lore, a bit of back history. And uh, get out of the bunker. Well, I just want to explore. I've done that room. Okay, cool. Looks like we're reaching the end of our first mission. The sound of spark metal going pew pew is never a good thing. <laughs> it's coming from behind that door. A warning label. The box looks like a potential brain melt. Ouch. But I do get an option to interact with it. It's oh, that's a puzzle. Of puzzling to short circuit the well, we kind of know now, don't we? Yellow to yellow, white to white. So we could figure it out. The top one needs to go right by two or three. And the next one down up by one, the one down below up by one or two as well. So we're on that one. Um, one dump, and that one dump, and then that one dump, and there we go. Once you know how, ladies and gentlemen. There you go. I know. So I'm quite happy that I didn't increase his intellect. Didn't need to. Well, they, they're obviously going to give you enough of those uh, movements. Oh, hello, fella in a wheelchair. Weasley looking fella. Uh, perfectly countering an enemy attack will stun them. A stunned enemy has stars circling above their head. And after hitting the enemy again, you can launch it up in the air by pressing the left bumper. The wheeled one is outnumbered. You'd better help him out. Hmm. Is this a mission? It is. Well, I'm going to end it at this point, ladies and gentlemen. As much as uh, you're all thinking, no, Rock, carry on, it looks really exciting. I know. But all good things must come to an end. And uh, this was our little one-hour peek at Biomutant. I think it's actually a really good game. I'm enjoying it so far. I didn't find any bugs that people whinged about, but maybe I've got to play for a little bit longer. Uh, combat's going to take a little while to get used to as a mechanic, but hey, what the heck, if you're going to play a game, give it some time. Overall, I'd give it a thumbs up. And we'll quit to desktop, which is our GeForce Now desktop. Thank you very much for watching and listening, which I know you've all done in your droves. Really appreciate it. Come back again. I will be putting this one under a rock review in the not too distant future. Uh, not the program on a Tuesday, but the game reviews, which we do, of course. And uh, we'll be uh, marking it out of our five criteria, which I think already is going to high score on that one. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Hope you've enjoyed it. I've been Rock. You've been very nice to turn up, actually. Rock out. <laughs> <laughs>